Games can provide, and this is going to be a hard one to convince some people of, but it's true, they can provide a means of exploring the universe in two different ways. One is for the designers of the game by exploring different designs and the ramification, and another is for the players of a game by being in this space that's given to them and by uh, seeing what it's like to move around in there and, and what happens and what the results are. This game, Braid, that I released a few years ago was a really fascinating development experience because it was very clearly the case that more ideas came out of the development process and ended up in the final game than I put into it as a designer. The process of designing the gameplay for this game was more like discovering things that already exist than it was like creating something new and arbitrary. There's an extent to which this game designed itself. This is a puzzle game, and the way that I got the puzzles would be to take these interesting phenomena that I observed and build a puzzle as an illustration. And through the years-long design process of this game, as I saw the rules unfold into compelling puzzles, I felt like I was tasting a little bit of truth. And an important part of the reason why it tasted like that is because that truth was something I was observing. It wasn't something I was making up or concocting. I don't know how to concoct truth, but sometimes I get the feeling when I observe something that it is true. At the start of the design process, I had this idea that I wanted the levels to be pretty simple. And I had a lot of game designerly reasons for thinking that. But as I designed levels and pursued this design methodology, I found that I always wanted to make the levels simpler and simpler. Because the simpler that I made them, the more beautiful they were. And I didn't understand why that was for quite a while, except that you know, when you add complications to a level, you're obscuring the puzzles, and when you remove complications, you're letting the puzzle be there, and it's somehow more pure. But I think in the context of this speech, I have a further explanation for it. And that is that when things are simple, when you're down to the fewest interactive elements, and you've minimized the complexity of the level geometry and whatever else you can think of to do in that regard, that simplicity provides more room for truth in the design because it leaves less room for author contrivance. You as the author are taking a lighter hand to construction. Remember that systems answer questions and if you take a little bit too heavy of a hand design-wise, if you start answering the questions yourself a priori, then you aren't letting the system express itself, and it may end up a little bit dead, a little bit muted. This design philosophy is about being open to what is here right in front of us. Seeing what the universe has made available through the very fact of existence. Because actually, it's quite a lot of stuff. There's certainly no shortage, but seeing that stuff can be difficult because we're not used to it. It's a design skill that we may have to build. The world never stops with surprise. And when you really like see that, when you really sit back and look at things that way, what you can see or, or what I see is it's, it's so immense, right? It's so unfathomable. 
that you all you almost basically can't do anything right it's just like paralysis of of being faced by the universe you know in building something measly like a game you can't actually do justice to that grandness from within my tiny human form i want to i want to try right i want to express something of this grandness and this vastness i want to suggest that as a design community we can get pretty far by thinking of ourselves as people who build microscopes or telescope like devices for observing the world we live in rather than just being people who make things fun or who tell stories even though we can do that stuff too and the reason all this works is that we don't really have to work hard to do any of this the universe itself has an unlimited supply of generosity and surprise built in and as designers we only need to keep our eyes open to what is here